Traders, welcome to Business Learnings. What is happening in the stock market? What should you do as an investor? In this video, we are going to talk about your plan and what should your action item be? Should you be buying everything? Should you be selling everything and get out the, get out of the market? Given that uh, no one is aware of how the war situation will unfold, what should be your plan of execution? We'll be talking all these things in detail in this video. So make sure that you watch the video throughout the end and do subscribe to the channel because you're going to learn a lot of things. Now, what is happening? Two things that are happening in this market. Number one, war and number two, inflation. How are they impacting our stock market? War. Russia and Ukraine are at war. Russia is one of the key exporters of uh, crude oil and as you know that crude oil is at a center of any economy's growth why you need crude oil for creating energy and you need energy for any kind of manufacturing to happen you need crude oil for transportation and you need transportation for any kind of supply chain to be successful these two manufacturing and supply chain alone contribute heavily to any kind of industry and if the prices of these processes go up, if the prices of the entire supply chain go, goes up, the price of uh, the cost of manufacturing goes up, right? The final prices of uh, the, the goods and services delivered will also rise. And that's why crude oil directly impacts uh, the prices of goods and services of uh, companies it directly impacts their margins and the companies will have to raise their prices and that's that's why uh, you know we are going to see a lot of inflation and the crude oil price being at its all-time high in the last eight years is definitely uh, you know a problem for us especially for India which imports about 80 85 percent of its crude oil from uh, other countries this is going to create a big problem that's why we are seeing a lot of correction in India. Number two reason of inflation is, uh, you know, uh, interest rate hikes. We all know that in the last two years to counter uh, the coronavirus pandemic, governments across the world had to print a lot of money. And now, when inflation had set in uh, because of this ex excess liquidity in the market, uh, governments uh, central banks across the world they had to absorb this liquidity how do they do that they increase the interest rate so that money is absorbed from stock markets crypto and other speculative assets to safer its assets for example uh, you know the bond market or gold for that matter right and that's why we will see some correction in the stock market so these two factors alone given that war has this kind of uncertainty it has been going on for 10 12 days and uh, 10 days approximately and we still do not have any clarity how long will it go right and if it turns into a nuclear war we don't know whether we'll survive or not if, if this turns out to be a full-blown world war three nuclear weapon based we don't know what's going to happen right and that's the uncertainty the market markets are factoring in and that's why uh, markets across the world have corrected a lot what should you do you do as an investor if you are an active investor by active investor i mean that you uh, periodically review your, uh, your your portfolio you should be focusing on asset allocation if you are aware of it very good if you are not aware of it please consult your financial advisor in very basic terms asset allocation simply means that based on your risk profile the ability to take risks if you uh, you know if you are a very aggressive kind of investor you will design your portfolio to be 80 percent in stock market and 20 percent in bond market if you are a conservative investor maybe you will say that 50 percent in stock and 50 percent in bond because i do not want to take such risks you define this ratio and then you periodically ensure that this ratio is maintained for example in today's times when stock market has corrected by a lot the ratio will would have changed the proportion of stocks would have decreased the proportion of bonds would have increased so the goal of asset allocation is to bring back that proportion how it helps you it helps you by uh, by keeping giving uh, giving you better returns while keeping your risks as low as possible as per your risk appetite if you are a passive investor just focus on your work focus on your profession uh, and, and the methods you do for cash flow generation and keep on sipping do not stop the SIPs 
right going forward have a plan ready what do i mean by a plan uh, you should not get into a situation that markets are at 12000 and then you do not have any money to deploy into it that's why a plan means you will add 3% more capital when nifty goes below 16000 you will add 2% more capital when nifty goes below 15400 this sort of plan you should have in place where you should be investing in uh, where you should be investing this additional 3% 2% 3% etc the stocks in which you are already actively investing in in the next slide i'll be talking about the stocks where i am investing in personally and the reasons i am investing in at this point in time but let's move on to the second point which is of squaring off the gains last year we had seen the market speak and a lot of us would have booked decent profits be it short term profits or long term profits and both are taxable in india right short term profits at 15% long term at 10% above a 1, 1 lakh of gains if you have any such gains this is the right time to set it off this is the right time to uh, cancel your gains because it's uh, it's it's better to save 15 percent if you sell your stocks tomorrow and tomorrow uh, the day after tomorrow it goes up by five percent you are still saving 10 percent because now you do not have to pay the short-term capital gains on that that much money you know, do your calculations do it only if you think that it it, it makes sense for you it's just an idea which if if used properly might help you save a lot of money right same for long-term capital gains now these are the stocks which i am buying at this point in time if you see most of these stocks asian paints hindustan unilever pedalite kotak bank bajaj finance dmart icici hdfc relaxo tata consumer and hdfc life most of these stocks are uh, nifty 50 stocks most of these are blue chip stocks all of them have a very good quality management and all of them are available at a discount from anywhere between 20 to 30 percent right so if you ask me a very good time to invest in these stocks i have personally been sipping these stocks in what fashion am i sipping i am sipping these stocks based on the percentage that i had written in the previous slide now the reason these stocks have corrected the most if you see there are two kinds of stocks here one fmcg stocks fast moving consumer goods and second banks fmcg stocks have corrected purely because of inflation if there is a lot of inflation uh, there is you know these companies will have uh, their their costs will rise they'll have to pass on these prices to the consumers until the time they are not able to pass on their prices their margins will suffer their profitability will suffer and that's why their prices are compressed at this point in time but there have been instances of high inflation and these companies these fmcg companies have been successfully able to pass on those price rises to their end consumers that's why i have a very good amount of confidence confidence in, in these companies that they'll continue to deliver on on their uh, their strategy of handling inflation and therefore the stock prices will keep on reaching new heights given that i'm getting most of these companies at an attractive discount i'm adding them banks are also in this list icici hdfc bajaj finance kotak these are in this list because they are respective market leaders banks are suffering because uh, because of this high inflationary pressure uh, there the chances of increasing NPA both gross and net NPAs is high right and that's why uh, since markets are forward looking they are factoring in that kind of NPA which might result in future in today's price and that's why these stocks are punished uh, at this point in time but this also gives us a very good opportunity to start accumulating these stocks know that all these stocks are respective market leaders right in 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 uh, in their own areas either number one player number two player either of them they all of these stocks are either number one or number two players in their respective areas and they are the market leaders because they have the right strategy in place and they have been successfully able to uh, implement that strategy in the past few decades that's why i have a lot of confidence in them they'll continue to do so that's why i have been investing in these companies i'm not putting all my money as i said uh, i have been incrementally increasing if market 
if the markets correct more i'll be adding more of these and what kind of uh, what kind of additional amount i have already talked about it in my previous slide so if you have any questions please put them down in the comment box below if across this video if you had uh, any anything which you uh, any doubts which you think i should create a separate video on elaborating in more detail please put that also in the comment box and i'll see you in the next video bye